In today's lesson, we're going to be doing a traveling hip circle. So what that means is we're going to take this regular hip circle that we do, just our regular big hip circle, and we're going to move with it. So we're going to travel with it. So we'll do a step together step in order to travel with this hip circle. So let's just get the footwork down. Let's go step together, step, tap, step together, step, tap, step together, step, tap, step together, step, tap. So what we're going to do is we're going to place that hip circle on top of the step and step together, step, tap. So when we step out, we're going to think about shifting our hips towards the front and then when we bring the feet together, we'll bring the hips back to neutral. So we'll circle and step. We'll step out and tap and going in the other direction. We'll step out, shift those hips forward, and then tap. Step out, shift the hips forward, and tap. This is what it looks like from the side. So we'll step out, step out, hip shift to the front, and step back together. Hip shift towards the front, and then step back together. And in the other direction, step out, hip shift forward, and together. Step out, hip shift forward, and together. So let's take that two each side. First I'll do it facing the side, and then I'll turn front again. So two hip circles traveling side to side. Let's go one and two, tap, one and two, tap. Again, one and two, tap, one and two, tap. Facing the front. Let's do it again. Five, six, seven, eight. Step together, step, tap, step together, step again. Step together, step, tap, step together, step, tap. So if you want to, um, if you need a little bit of help with this hip circle, I have another video where I just break down this movement. Um, and another thing that I want to mention is you really want to be careful when you're doing your hip circle and you're stepping out, when you get to this point, I want you to think about pulling in from your belly button, engaging those lower abdominal muscles so that when you're out here, you don't uh, tilt that pelvis forward and kind of crunch in your back. So keep that pelvis tucked under by pulling the navel into the spine to engage those lower abdominal muscles so that, that the back doesn't overarch and you don't tilt that pelvis forward. So it looks more like this instead of this, okay? Um, let's see, what else was I gonna say? Let's try that one more time. Two hip circles from side to side. Five, six, seven, eight. Step together, step, touch. Step together, step, touch. Now one variation you can do on this, when you do the touch, do a hip up. So it'll look like this. Step together, step, hip, step together, step, hip, step together, step, hip, step together, step, hip. So you can see that tap, that touchdown where you tap here becomes a hip. So when you place the sole of that foot on the ground, kind of use that weight of that foot to push the hip up front and center. Um, let's pick up this tempo a little bit and do two per side with the hip. Five, six, seven, eight. Step together, step, hit. 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 You can also add some arms to that as well out here at the side when you do the hip. Step together, step, hip. Step together, step, hip. Step together, step, hip. Step together, step, hip. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Um, we did a traveling hip circle. We did two per side. We did a variation where we added the hip, it hip up instead of the touch. And we also added some arms to that as well. 
Um, I hope you liked it. Please click like below, subscribe to the channel, share with your friends. If you want to stay updated on videos as they come out, please go to hipbellydancer.com. And I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.